Hello friend, welcome to Mechanical Concepts. In this video, let us see about the continuum, right? So, see, to understand continuum, I am taking a fluid system. This fluid consists of uh, number of molecules, right? Suppose, for example, if this fluid system is having a continuum, then the distance between the molecules is uh, almost uh, equal to zero or negligible, okay? So, to achieve this state, the fluid system must have Knudsen number as a less than 0 0.01, right? This is called Knudsen number. Knudsen number. Okay. So, let us see what is meant by Knudsen number. Knudsen number tells that Kn equal to lambda by L. So, what is lambda? Lambda is uh, called as a mean free path. Mean free path. Right? What is meant by mean free path? Simple. Mean free path is nothing but the distance between the two molecules of the fluid before the collision. Right? So, before collision, what is the distance between the two molecules? That is called mean free path. Now, what is called L? L is a characteristic length, characteristic length. See, characteristic length is nothing but uh, here simply, suppose this is a container, the length of the container is nothing but characteristic length. Okay, so if k n equal to lambda by L, then Kn is less than 0 0.01. If Kn is less than 0 0.01, then continuum, continuum holds good. Continuum holds good. Okay. If Kn is greater than 0 0.01, continuum, continuum doesn't hold good doesn't hold good okay so it is very very important why why the fluid system is having continuum because uh, see if you want to do mathematical analysis on any fluid system you definitely have to use a differential calculus differential calculus right so to use differential calculus the system has to be the system has to achieve continuum or the system must be continuous okay unless and otherwise you cannot do differential calculus okay if the system is continuous then only you can do differential calculus so even though the fluid doesn't achieve a continuous state you have to assume for solving mathematically If Kn is uh, in between 0 0.01 and 0 0.1, then the flow is called, then the flow is called slip flow. Then the flow is called slip flow. If, if Knudsen number is uh, in between 0.1 and uh, 10, then the flow is called as a transition flow transition flow otherwise uh, if kn is a uh, greater than 10 then that is uh, called as a free molecular flow free molecular flow okay one most uh, another important thing to know is uh, uh, this point is very very important uh, so for continuous flow for continuous flow for continuous flow the Knudsen number is a uh, is less than 0 0.01 continuous flow is what we are seeing daily that fluid flow is a continuous flow and uh, that flow is having Knudsen number as 0 point less than 0 0.01 suppose uh, if the <coughs> flow is a uh, uh, if the system is having a vacuum, 
and that is a medium vacuum then the Noetze number is approximately in between 0.1 and 0.5 right if Noetze number is uh, increases then vacuum increases in the system because uh, the gap between the molecules increases considerably thereby system doesn't contain considerable amount of gas or fluid then the system achieves a uh, vacuum condition so for medium vacuum Noetze the number is in between 0.1 to 0.5 for a high vacuum or ultra high vacuum high vacuum Noetze the number is uh, <clears throat> approximately greater than 0.5 so this data is uh, important uh, for uh, uh, analyzing uh, uh, fluid mechanics mathematically. So this is about a uh, continuum. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press bell icon for getting exclusive updates uh, related to mechanical concepts. Thank you.